Hello, today we're going to be learning how to take a inventor file and change it into a DXF file. This is uh, for computer aided machines such as CNC plasma cutters which is what I'm going to be using it for today. You could also be using it for mills or other such machines but I need a couple of screw points today for the bottom of a table so that's what we're going to be doing. So if I go over to, I've double clicked on inventor, open that up, I'm now going to go to new, I'm going to select metric because we're in Australia and we run on the metric system, standard millimeters, IPT, so that's going to let me create a part file. So now that I've done that, it's going to take a second to load, and then I need to come up to the top left here, and I need to click on Start 2D Sketch. Now it takes a little while for that to become clear, which means it's okay to click on. So there we go, it's gone blue, so that means I can click on this top part. It's going to come up with all my different planes that I have, and I like to draw on the XZ plane, which is going to give you the top plane. Now over here on the right hand side, you may know about this square here, I like to rotate it so top is facing the right way. I'm now going to make a simple rectangle that's going to be 15mm by 15mm. If you didn't know how to do that, you type 15, press tab, type 15, press enter, and that gives you your rectangle there and if, also if you go back to the top right and click on top again it'll zoom in so you can actually see what you're working on now I didn't quite have that close enough so if I go to circle now it should let me go from the midpoint of both and I can click there it's one of the beauties of Inventor that allows you to do that I'm going to make the hole 3.5 press enter I then got my hole that I know is in the center because it gave me the snap lines to that center point there if I right click and go OK I've now got that ready to extrude so if I go 3d model and extrude now the material that I'm going to be cutting this out of is 1.6 millimeter steel so I'm going to make that 1.6 mil I'm going to then click on my face there and it's going to get risen it's going to raise up 1.6 millimeters um, so that's basically my part set in the digital world now I need to convert it to a DXF file so that I can then take that over to my um, cam machine. So rotating that back that way. Now what I need to do is right click on the face, go down to export face as. Now I've done this previously so I've named it screw point there. So the key is that you want to save it as a DXF file down here, not a DWG file because that's going to help you have a drawing but it's not going to be a cam appropriate drawing that we can then take onto another machine so if I keep it as DXF name it screw point save yes I want to replace it okay and then also just in case I do want to change this I'm going to also save it as an IPT file so IPT is an inventor part file so or oh, sorry I should say inventor part type I think the T stands for so that's what we're going to save it as and keep it as that as well, just in case we need to alter it at any point. So I'm saving that. Okay, so now I need to take my USB with my DXF file on it over to the CNC plasma cutter.